Agent, a podcast for real estate agents, coaches, and small business owners who are looking to find more joy and find success in their business, especially when it comes to video. Welcome. My name is Ed Troxel. I'm your host. And in this episode, we're going to cover why this podcast, why you should be interested in following the series and maybe even subscribing. But first, if you find any uh, joy experience, it's all live. So we're just going to roll with it. <laughs> if you find any value in this episode, be sure to check the description to join the email club. That's a big one. Email club is huge. It's called handle your business and it's a weekly email that you'll get. So if you join today, you'll get it by Friday. That is if you're tuning into us live. Uh, and that has business tips that are quick, easy, scannable that you can implement in your business. So be sure to check the description for that. All right. So why the good agent and why you should be interested in it? Well, first off, each week during our normal seasons, so here's season one of the good agent, and we'll talk about what you might notice from previous episodes under a different name. Ooh, there's a cliffhanger for you. So you got to stick around to find out what we're talking about. Uh, so for this season, for The Good Agent, why you should be tuning in, each week we're going to deliver actionable uh, strategies that are going to help you in your business, help you with tips, tricks. Also, I'm going to deliver things that just drive me absolutely nuts, which, by the way, you may or may not be already doing this in your business. If you are, no hard feelings. This is all teachable moments that we're going to share with you. Of course, we're not going to talk about people in specifically or anything like that. But I want this show to give you more valuable information that helps you where you're at. One, I don't want you to feel alone in your business. Uh, two, I also want you to know that there are things that you can do to improve your business and that you're fully capable of doing. We'll talk more about that here in a second when we talk about my story. So I'll be sharing tips, be sharing resources for you um, and how you can actually fix things in your business. We'll also be talking about the things that are going on in online spaces for social media, marketing, and really helping you become the modern agent and using modern marketing and tools to help you streamline your business, make it run more efficiently, and give you more time back in your day and weeks for that matter. Now, for my story, because a lot of people have asked, especially in the previous podcast, which we'll talk about here in a second, asked about my story. Who am I? What do I do? How did I get into all of this? Well, as I mentioned, my name's Ed, uh, and I am a video and business coach. So I help agents, small business owners, and even nonprofits go through and get up to speed with technology, breaking it down to be really easy to implement, find the best solutions that are going to help make their business run and operate a lot smoother, as well as give them more time back in their day. So we start with systems, we start with processes, we set goals, we work through all of that to lead up to that big scary word that you're probably already thinking I'm going to say, video. You know, we come from a video first approach. And that wasn't always the case, especially when we first started our business. We'll get into that more here in a second, but video is key for maintaining sustaining and growing your business. I wonder if that's a tweetable moment. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Uh, but we want to make sure that you're starting to implement video, even if you're scared about it, you don't know what to do, you don't know what to say. Like there's so many things that are probably running through your mind and we want to change that. We want to shift that. And that's why I say, check the description for signing up for handle my, handle your business weekly, because that's a weekly one email, quick scannable tips, tricks for your business. And you'll also get a free guide to help you with your video just to plant the seed for you there. Uh, so how did I get started with all of this? Well, a little over seven years ago, I decided to quit my full-time job at, at Apple. I had what everyone said you should get full time, full benefits, stock options, all of that good stuff. But I wasn't satisfied. I, I wasn't fulfilled, I should say. I mean, it was fine. Like I did a great job and, you know, everything worked out, but it wasn't enough for me. Like I wanted to be able to help more 
entrepreneurs. I wanted to help more small businesses and really be able to help them get up to speed with technology and use the tools and resources that they have literally at their fingertips to be able to connect with their audience, attract their audience, and have conversations that lead to more opportunities, whether that's a sale or a partnership, which key word partnership is huge here in 2023. So make sure you're thinking about your circle, who you're connected to, and now you're connected with me, and and how you can start forming stronger partnerships. We'll be talking more in other episodes that will be dedicated specifically to things like forming partnerships or creating an email list. Like there's going to be very specific episodes, but just know that this is a conversation and it's live. So yes, I will mess up. Yes, things might happen. Yes, I might be in different locations uh, for whatever reasons. And that's all good. I'm here to deliver the information to whoever wants to actually tune in and pull some resources from me. I was going to say plant seeds, but you can't pull planted seeds. I mean, I guess you could, but anyway, uh, so that's how I got started with the business that I'm in now. When I quit my full-time job at Apple, I started my, uh, consulting company and started with business coaching as well as tech support and web design. And then that evolved into, well, how am I going to market myself? And for me at the time, I had to start getting in front of the camera, which was not my first choice, but it was the answer to how am I going to stand out from all the other agents out there? By the word, by the way, I use agents to describe all of us, whether you're a real estate agent, a coach, consultant, small business owner, entrepreneur, solopreneur, whatever, we're all agents. So when I was trying to figure out how am I going to stand out from everyone else, I had had to get good at being in front of the camera. I no longer could hide behind it, which was comfortable. I liked that. I was good with being behind the camera, but I knew that if I wanted my business to survive, I had to get in front of that camera. And I did. And now we're a little over seven years in and we're still here. So something worked, thankfully. And uh, I contribute my success to not only video, but of course my community and being able to build that through video marketing. And so anytime that I'm working with clients or educating you through the podcast or through Handle Your Business Weekly, which is the email series that I send out each week that you can sign up for down below, I'm always trying to get you to think a little differently and start to incorporate video wherever you can, however you can, so that way you can start getting more comfortable with it and it becomes second nature. So that's how I got started here. And for those who are really curious, it all started with being able to see the difference between how my parents worked and what I wanted to do. And If that didn't even make sense, let me just explain that a little bit better. So as I was growing up, I was able to see two different work environments. My dad was a handyman and created his own schedule and did whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted, which in some cases is good, but in some cases it's not so good. Uh, And then I saw my mom working the typical eight to five, 40 hours a week, sitting at a desk on a computer, stuck in a program, one program. To me, that was completely boring and I could not do that. But then I also knew that I didn't want to be a handyman. And so I had that in my mind thinking, okay, if I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that, but I like this and I kind of like this, how am I going to work together to to figure out what I want? And of course, I tried all different kinds of jobs and and loved working part-time jobs because it gave me a variety and it kept me sharp and kept me moving. But I knew that as I grew up and as I started to work on my business and and really create what has uh, evolved to today's business, I knew that I wanted to continue to help people wherever they're at and help them grow from there, whether it was learning how to use text on their phones, on their iPhones, or uh, being able to update their website, or be able to use their phone now to record their videos and go live wherever they're at. I knew I wanted to always help them and figure out what's your problem. Let me find that solution for you. And it really has stemmed from that. And I know that for me, when it comes to the work that I get to do, keyword is 
get to do. So three keywords. Uh, when I uh, look at the work I get to do, I always think about the opportunities that start to unfold both for myself and for my clients and, and the door that gets to be opened now to a worldwide opportunities and possibilities. Um, a lot of people that I've worked with and that I continue to connect with are transitioning just like we are in this shifted market, right? A lot of agents, uh, especially in the real estate world, are dealing with the shifted market. There's a lot of change going on. What traditionally worked doesn't. So how do we make that shift? What do we need to do that's slightly different in some cases and some cases uh, a lot different? So there's different things going on. And I'm trying to not, I'm trying to keep these episodes short. So let's keep moving. Uh, but if you want to know more about my backstory, feel free to uh, message me anytime point is, is that I saw that there was two different worlds and I wanted to combine them. And I will also mention this one because it's a big part of the story is that when I think about my mom working that eight to five job and being that dedicated employee and being so savvy at her job, but also being on a computer all day long, but yet could not figure out how to Google something when she left that job because the job didn't teach her the skills that she needed. The job didn't get her on a path to success that helped her to continue to learn, to help make her more knowledgeable as well as their business. And that never sat well with me. Um, and so that's why no matter what job you have, you should always be constantly learning and, and thinking not only about learning what you need to for your industry, but the surrounding industries, what else is going on? And so that's literally what I spend most of my time doing when I'm not working with clients is going through social media, going through um, news sites, understanding not only the marketing, the social media, uh, by the way, all organic stuff, I don't do anything with paid ads, just FYI, but I know people who do. Um, but really just understanding that they're is a wealth of knowledge literally at your fingertips, which is very overwhelming. I get that, but also understand that you need to factor in that time to your schedule in your schedule to improve your learning. Because I don't want to see you where my mom was at that time. I no one should be left behind because they haven't been able to explore the technology because their job didn't allow them to explore the technology and explore their learning. We should always be improving um, both at the current job that we're at and working with, but also just getting a feel for what's out there. Jumping all over the place, but it's all good. Hopefully that made sense uh, for you. Now, the backstory on this podcast, and then we'll wrap up here. This podcast, if you look at it in previous episodes, wherever you're listening to podcasts, you'll see that there's previous episodes all titled Yes to Entrepreneurship. And to give you a little backstory on that, Yes to Entrepreneurship was something I started back in 2017, I believe. It was just going to be a limited uh, series uh, with interviews with entrepreneurs, just us sitting at a quote coffee shop virtually here online and being able to share our stories as if it was just us talking. And then you, the listener, got to sit in and eavesdrop in on our conversation. So I did that for one season and then I was just going to let it go, but then it still kept getting attention. So I did another season and instead of closing the doors completely on that, and this took a while for me to come to a realization, instead of closing the doors completely on that, I decided to rename it, rebrand it to the good agent. And from here, moving forward, being able to still incorporate the, the interviews and sharing more from my perspective, because that was one thing that I got a lot from listeners was they didn't get to hear enough from me, which I actually didn't want to do that much. I always like having guests on the show and being able to have a conversation with someone else. But uh, most of the uh, feedback that I got from listeners was share more solo episodes. So that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. And when I finally came to the conclusion that The Good Agent was the title of the new podcast, that's when we started to go live here. So this episode is 
a trailer, an introduction, feel free if you're checking us out on social, drop a comment below, uh, send us a note on our website at any point in time. You have the resources in the description down below. Go get your free uh, copy of the Handle Your Business Weekly, which comes out on Friday at 10 a.m. So if you sign up beforehand, you'll get it right in your inbox and you'll also get a free guide to video. So that way you can start working on increasing and making those videos better, increasing your video content and making those videos better. That's better. It has been a pleasure to hang out with you and join you uh, here on this episode. If you need anything, feel free to reach out. Feel free (laughs) to reach out. As you can see, I like to have fun with these episodes and that's also why I'm doing them live. So if you're just listening on a podcast uh, from your favorite podcast stations, uh, apps, whatever you want to call them. You want to make sure that you can see the video version over on our YouTube channel. So then that way you can connect over there with the community and grow your business. By the way, before I let you go, just to let you know, anytime you comment, see, I can't help it. I have to teach no matter what. Uh, so when you comment on social media, I should say the reason why you should comment on social media is because it shows your profile image. It shows your inf- your um, name. If you're on LinkedIn, it shows a little bit extra, but that's a whole other story. We'll, we'll stay here. Uh, but when you comment, you are not only connecting with the other person, so in this case, me, but you're also putting yourself out there to connect with others who might need your services. So don't be afraid to drop a note down below. Don't be afraid to do uh, send a private message to whoever it is that you're paying attention to. Let them know it's really important because here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's really lonely on this side of the mic, on this side of the camera, because you're consuming. It's just like watching TV. You're consuming everything you watch, which is good or bad, whatever, but you're consuming it. But how do we know that it's actually working? How do we know that our message is actually resonating with you? How do we know that you want us to keep going? How do we know that you learned something new or that you would like to learn something about XYZ? We learn that by you commenting, by you sending us messages. So whether it's me or whoever you're tuning into, be sure that you are taking an extra step, extra moment, to send them a note, whether it's public or private, let them know you hear them, you see them, you're showing up, you're delivering, and you're engaging. And those are the three things that we want you to do. And those are the three keys to your success, both in business and in life. Take care.